the stream. Hello, everybody. I know you're there. So, Joe, guess what I did? What did you do today, Cleo? I didn't do, do it today. I got... My... Oh, I already guessed wrong? <laughs> already guessed wrong. It wasn't today. Um, I got my washi tape. <laughs> because oh, I am an addict. Um, the thing is, I keep on thinking, well, I've got to do a stream about this. And, you know, I need stuff for the stream. So hello, yeah, yeah. everybody. I've got more washi tape. So I decided to do like, like, like vintagey kind of stuff this time. That's going to be my theme. Mm -hmm. But I also got stickers. And some of the Ooh. stickers are horrifying. Like, I mean, I don't like half of these. These were sort of extra. But um, where is it? I, there, there was one that was one actually... Yeah, I mean, the people one is all, you know, they're kind of creepy, but um, hang on. Oh, I forgot to buy rubber stamp making things. I just saw your passport one, and I was like, ah. Oh. That was on my list for when I went to the craft store. I got the pencils, but I didn't get the... Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I didn't so know this was coming. Looks like. Somebody send Iskul. <laughs> I'm not doing a stream about washi tape. It just so happens that I have washi tape. And mm -hmm. this is what comes, like, I was, I've always been thinking about doing a coffee and donuts one. So this, like, coffee based one, I find, you know, I, I might use that. But, like, there's also, like, a, I've got lots of travel theme stuff as well. So, you know, it's like multiple themes. But today we're going just vintage. Those are terrifying clown stickers. Yep. Um, I also got like, <laughs> hello. Uh, I also got hello. like little pieces of paper. Um, oh my gosh, I'm realizing that, like, OBS is not getting any audio. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. You can hear Joe, right? No, they can't hear me either. Like Windows restarted overnight and now nothing works. And I've been, so I've been live for like <laughs> two minutes. And it's fine. You, you keep can talking hear. about your stuff. No, uh, I, I've okay. got pretty stationery. I've, it's like it's like it's like pieces of like scrap paper that you can use in bullet journals, which mm -hmm. you know, and 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 like little themes. And it's cute. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's cute. And I also got, aside from like much ado about washi tape, I also got special washi tape, Ooh. which has flowers on it. So let me open one of these. Eh. So. Ooh. Oopsie. Um, if you open it up, I'm going to just peel off the sticker. You get little mm -hmm. petals, like individual little petals of a flower. Well, that's cool. So you can make like little flowers and it's quite cute. But I got three kinds of those. So I'm thinking about doing a floral theme probably next. I'm going to do sort of vintage old stuff. Because I've got all these flower ones, which are cute. So I've got like, like my favourite flowers, which are lilies, which I can't have because I own cats. Yeah, no. If you are buying flowers for somebody with a cat, don't buy them lilies. Ask don't the florist. Them. Yeah. Do Cleo not buy them. This is a public service announcement. This is a public service announcement. Lilies will kill cats. Like, just a hundred percent flat out dead. And yeah, don't don't. Don't yeah, get lilies if you have cats. If you're buying something for somebody with cats. Yes. Because um, I used to get lilies. And uh, yeah, they are my favorites. But since I have cats, I am not allowed them. So. so yeah, this month's theme is vintage. You're doing like bullet journaly stuff. At least that was the plan last time. Uh, that, was, that was the plan last time was like, I'm going to start getting my life in order. But then... Uh, did life happen? I, I well, so I kind of came up with something that I thought might be a better exercise for during the stream on a day that I wasn't particularly well rested. Mm -hmm. So, like for example, uh, you may have saw I put out a new video, uh, and that mm -hmm. video I spent like I started editing it after Pathfinder last night at about ten o'clock. And then about yeah. five, and I was like, I'm just going to work on this until I'm too tired to work anymore. Um, but I had to drive somewhere yesterday evening yes. to take my kid to something. And mm -hmm. I was like, it's unsafe for me to drive with how tired I am. I should have a Red Bull first. 
And so I had a Red Bull at like 5.30 in the evening. And so I was like, okay, I should crash at around 11.30 at night, six hours later. Right. But I didn't, <laughs> probably because I had a bunch of caffeine during Pathfinder 2. So then I just was like, I'll just power through. I got the episode finished, mm -hmm. but I did only get like three and a half hours of sleep. So I think I'm going to do my high speed sketching concept rather than something that requires a lot of intention and planning. Okay, that seems fair. So the pe that's, people that's who just said plan. Joe sounds a bit depressed, no, just tired. Just yeah. tired. You know, yeah. that is that is that is Joe's kind of default state at the moment. <laughs> so Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm fine. No, but like I, I just had um yeah, just one of those things where I, I the thing is I took a lot of naps yesterday too. Because mm -hmm. I was just like I feel like I've been behind on sleep in general. So yeah. like I definitely took at least an hour and a half nap, but I think I laid in bed for like an extra two hours in the afternoon just like trying to fall asleep. So it's like I'm getting rest. It's just not evenly distributed. or actually it's more evenly distributed than it should be. Yeah. It's not yeah. concentrated. Is Joe visiting clear or is clear in the States? Uh, neither. Neither. Yeah, no, we're on uh, computers that have uh, network Internet connections. Internet connections. Yes. It's uh, all the rage in Paris. And you're bringing it here now. <laughs> Actually, I think it's from Belgium. Wait, is that I where think, CERN is? I think it's from No, Belgium. well, that's technically where the web came from because of Tim Berners-Lee. But, yeah. But they are in a Discord call cool thingy. That is the appropriate way of putting that. As opposed to just, not really. <laughs> I was going to keep being sarcastic. But I, like, I mean, any... you know, how is that different to normal? You sound know. like you're in the same room. Yeah. Well, that's the, the magic of audio mixing. Magic. You know, if we properly mix our audio, we should be indistinguishable from being in the same room. Something like that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm ripping things to get like a, a little border. So it looks like, you know, when I layer things together, that they they look vintage e. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> First time chat from viewer Court Gaming. I mean, us humans need more sleep than we get. Uh, sometimes it's good to take your foot off the pedal and slow down for a bit. I agree with you in principle. I think that that's an accurate statement of but, how things should be. Of how things should be. That's what I'm wor I'm actively working toward being able to do that because like there are some people who like they love working nonstop and getting no sleep. I don't, but I'm also a single parent and there's only so many things I can let slide before like my kid doesn't have clothes to go to school in or I miss a rent payment and there's nobody to really pick up the slack on that. So for right now, I need to just kind of power through. But as she's getting older and more able to help out around the house, and in theory, as I get more efficient at certain things, I'm hiring staff to help me with more and more tasks. Um, like, not domestic staff, but, like, um, people working with me on my YouTube stuff. Uh, you know, in theory, I'll be able to get more rest. But I need to kind of work... I need to get through this kind of certain point where it's like, okay... I, I've got a lot of work to do, but not enough money to pay people to help me do that work, you know? Yeah, no, I know. I know. I'm sure chat understands as well. Yeah. Um, could mm. I set the fire edge on fire a bit to make it more vintage? Uh, technically, yes, that is a thing I could do. Am I going to you get... soak it in tea. I could what? Soak it in tea. That'll make that... the oh, okay. paper okay. Tea. That is not no, what I what heard. I think I said. Uh, pee. Oh no! I would recommend. And I was just sort of like that. Would, that, would... That, that that seemed yeah. That would be bad. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I was oh, very confused no. for a second. Uh, what? Okay, I don't know. Okay, Cleo, Cleo. I don't know if you've ever seen, but um, there's there's like one of those like ecological things from the the Americas in the '60s was like people would put um like placards above their toilets that say um if it's yellow let it mellow if it's brown flush it down to like encourage yeah, people I've to heard save of this. water. Yes. I was thinking of once I get a merch store printing off placards in the same like general typeface and size that say mm -hmm. I'm saving this urine for later. <laughs> 
And then you can just when you whenever you see one of those in a, a bathroom of somebody you're visiting, you just put you, you just leave your placard in front of theirs and like <laughs> hope, see how long it takes for them to notice. Oh God, it's horrifying. That's for horrifying. Thanks, Joe. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. See, this is why I need more free time so I can work on great ideas like these. <laughs> great, great ideas. Great ideas like these. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm excited. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this last week because I don't know if I had done it yet, but I promoted one of my moderators to be a server operator for me. Yep, you talked about this. Okay, that's how tired I am. I don't remember. To me. Uh, but, but to me. you. Okay. Did we talk about it on stream? Probably. 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 We did. Okay. Oh, choo choo. So, anyway. Oh, wait, wait. I have a thing for that. <laughs> Thank you. Hang on. Thank you, Catharis, who has subscribed. Welcome to the Horde. If you look to your left and to your right, you'll see there are no X's, but there are a lot of hands. Uh, Wolf Rako has resubscribed for six months. Hello. Bronze on the Blue has resubscribed for seven months, like trading cards. I don't know what that was in reference to, but maybe. Do people trade cards for seven months? Either way, thank you, Hazel Inn, for rolling in with a raiding party of 14. So thank you Hello, for Raiders. joining us. Raiders. My name is Joe Hills. I'm broadcasting live from Nashville, Tennessee. Today, I'm going to be doing some quick color sketches with my new color pencils. I'm making a few kind of frames for those sketches uh, right now, and then we'll jump in uh, shortly after. But let's see oh. what else is going on here. Hang um, on a second. Uh, like Things sure. have just picked up. Gwek cheered biddies and skulls and Cus cupcakes gifted a sub to Grutar. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, that's the thing I was going to mention. I was going to say, I'm joined by my friend Zombie Clear, Hi! who's uh, craft stuff you can see <sighs> in the lower right. I, was, uh, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night because I was trying to get a video out the door. Mm -hmm. and, and so, yeah, I was just like, there's something I need to talk about, but I'm sure it'll come up eventually. It's you. It's, it's you. me. Gotta it's a me. <laughs> I, is that oh. possible? Can you explain me? No. Oh, wow. Hold on. That it's a me thing, though. That reminds me, we were talking just before this. Um, so I was talking to Pet Scar about trying to do a book on tape or something. Mm -hmm. And I realized that we could do the cask of Amontillado with Scar <sighs> reading the voice of the narrator. He'd be like, the thousand injuries of Fortunato I had borne as best I could. But when he ventured upon insult, I vowed revenge. You know, that sort of thing. Did but you actually Cleo talk and to I... Scar about this? <laughs> Not not this specific project, but we were talking about books on tape the other day. Okay. Or, and making them. Because, I, uh, and anyway, the thing is, Cleo and I could do the actual dialogue for this. <laughs> and have Scar saying, like, I said to him. And then I would do Montresor. My dear Fortunato, woe, you are luckily met. How remarkably well you are looking today. But I have received a pipe of what passes for a Montellado, woe, and I have my doubts. And then Cleo... <laughs> Instead of being like, how, said he, Cleo could be like, how, how well? A Montellado woe? A Montellado woe? <laughs> Impossible. And in the middle of the carnival, <laughs> I have my dough outs. I have my <laughs> dough outs. Uh, <laughs> can I just pause you for a second? Can I just pause you for a second for the 20 gift subs that I just got? So well, it thank was clearly the Amontillado woe that got you, it though, was, so you're it welcome. Was, I think it was before the Amontillado woe, but okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Fessler, for the 20 gift subs. It's very much appreciated. And Paleo, who has cheered biddies, thank you very much. Anyway, yes, uh, the cask of Amontillado woe is... is yeah. I'm not saying it's never happening, but I'm saying you would have to convince Scar first that this would be okay. <sighs> but, okay, but if I go to Scar and I'm like, Scar, I have for you today an incredible opportunity you could be part of the voice cast of the cask of amontillado Wo. <laughs> he's not going to know what to say except yes he's he's going oh, to say something he's going to uh, say something he is hey the jubilant poet thank you for the five who says have you heard of the group steam powered giraffe a friend oh. of mine mentioned they had a kind of vibe you'd enjoy what kind of group are they are they like soccer hooligans Cleo or Wo football is hooligans off. is that what Hang they on. called them i'm going to turn cleo Wo on Okay. Um, because now people have just said that they want it, so. Oh, I see that you hit a hype train at level five as well, so. Ooh! Thank you, everybody! Oh, yeah, okay. I need to rotate my camera five degrees. I'm rotating my camera 
one degree for every Unpaused. dollar tipped. Thank you, Bakuma, who has gifted a sub. And thank you, uh, hang on, Brising oh, Kill, no. who, who has subscribed. Uh, thank you very much. If you look to your left and to your right, you will see there are no exits. Um, so, yeah, with the, the book on tape thing with Scar, well, because you know, he did that book on tape thing with Green and Mumbo. And I, I mentioned to him, I was like, oh. Piece. So, uh, yeah, I was like, Scar, dang it. You know, I was just, I had an in studio guest on one of my pinball streams the other day who was working on books on tape. Uh, and I, it got me thinking like, oh, I should record something like that. But then you just did one. So I don't want to seem like I'm stealing your thing. And he's like, no, oh, Joe, there's enough room in the books on tape industry for all of us. You know, we kind of. <laughs> we're like, yeah, I, I think he'd be very uh, keen to do something collaborative. You know, <laughs> if nothing else. Um, he, here's the other thing, Cleo, is if we can get. Were you there when we were discussing that new record player mod? Uh, vaguely, I think. Okay, so if we can get that record player mod working. Oh no, we, whoa! We I just realized sell, what you're gonna suggest! We can sell this to the other hermits! Oh no, whoa! I'm in! Thank you, Vic Leslie, for the 200 biddies! Thank you very much, finger guns! Um, I'm in! Awesome. <laughs> But you got to convince Scar for it. Okay, I'll I'll get working on that. I'm gonna, <laughs> I I usually try not to pitch people on ideas when I'm this tired. Unless, it's probably a bad idea. Yes. Unless they're already inoculated against how terrible most of my ideas are, as is this in this case. You and and the audience at home know that every insane idea I have obviously needs to be executed. Uh, but you know, <laughs> for a more even keeled gentlemen of distinction like scar i need to come in there with like hey scar you need to come in the there with a business plan it's what you I, need exactly. to do i've got i made these charts in excel <laughs> like, how many how many phonemes have the oo sound in them throughout that we can punch up with oo woos <laughs> uh, this yeah. is a terrible idea just so you know yeah yeah yeah. I yeah 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 i think it'll be good joe is very entertaining when he's delirious i'm not uh, delirious no you're just not cognizant yeah. particularly today yeah yeah no there's it's one of those i need to i need a um a spoonerism for delirious that i could respond to there um because, like, uh, there was this, um, there was this joke that my dad used to tell about moving to Tennessee. Uh -huh. um, cause his siblings were like, isn't everyone there illiterate? And he'd be <laughs> like, uh, nope, most of the people I work with, uh, their parents got married about six months before they were born. <laughs> So there's 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 got to be some word that sounds like delirious that I could, um, I could I could uh, oh, I have I literally have a tool for this in my pocket. Thanks the future. Thanks um, the got, future. Yeah, let me pull up my this rhyme zone app and then do words that sound like delirious. Oh my gosh, I can't spell delirious at this point. Oh no. <laughs> D E L I Should you be here today is the question. Yes. Uh, are you because sure? I've already drank like a French press of coffee, so I'm not gonna be able to fall back asleep even if I do it. Delirious. Joe is delirious. Uh let's see. Dearness, desirous, delicious, dolor dolorous, dreariness. Uh Deliveries, Demetrius. Who's Demetrius? Ooh, that's wait, I know wait, Demetrius. That sounds Greek. That that's got to be good. Okay, son of Antigonus, Cyclops, and king of Macedonia. He and his father were defeated at the Battle of Ipsus. Okay, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good, and also uh, 
a little bit niche, which is all that Joe could ask for. Okay, how, how about this one? I'm not delirious. Augustus is my son of law. Son in law. Oh my gosh. Joe. I'm not saying you're delirious. What I am saying is you shouldn't be doing this right now. Yeah. People are saying, Joe, do you have Discord open? Yeah, I do. Why? I can only see one thing in Discord at a time. I see Melon's away saying, I'm not delirious. He said deliriously. Is it because you're showing me how to spell delirious? In this Discord? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Raleigh girl. First time chat says, watched your new video. It was fantastic. I appreciate you make the videos that are so entertaining. Oh, Cleo, I had this idea for what to do with the leftover Easter eggs. Yeah. So whenever I borrow something from another hermit and then I return it, I'm going to name one of the eggs with a thank you note and leave it as a gift. That's quite cute. Right? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And it... Yeah, because um, <laughs> yeah, because it was uh, Jem loaned me forty-eight sponges, which is a lot of treasure, basically. So yeah, but it was a it was just a loan, so yeah, that's okay. But like, but I was also in a queue with several other hermits who like, like she apparently a lot of people have been asking for sponges, and so well, I was you've like, got a, you've got a a a, a place. Next to your base, haven't you? You got a thing that you. Yeah, can but pick she it. actually pulled the sponges out of that to make her thing. Wow. So, yeah, that's one of the ones she braided. Yeah, that was one that I that was going to be part of my, like I, I I was I'd found that one. I was going to use it as part of my base, but um. Oh no. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, good morning, Saucefire. Glad you could join us today. Okay. So, so yeah, I'm working. I'm work. I'm I'm like I say. I'm planning about my base. I think I told you that. Mm -hmm. That I'm in the planning stages of my base. So next video, there are going to be some huge circles coming on the server. So oh, no, circles. Thank you for the sponges. Oh. Have a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think oh, the eggs I are particularly to. children. They do look kind of like wobble toys or whatever, though. Weebles. Weebles, Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Okay. Can I... Okay, wait, no. I don't want to add the link as a source. I was going to say, can I just drag an image into OBS? No, it's it's showing up as a URL. Dang it. Open image in new tab. If I... What about this? Hey, that kind of worked. It's like huge, but okay, there we go. So this is an example of back glass art. Hang on, yeah. I'm, I've got to pull you up, which is fine. I can do that. Uh, Aviva Kitty says, there's a lot of fan content on Tumblr for what if the eggs hatched. It is very funny. Man, people on Tumblr are way too into egg fertilization of... stuff. Like, can't <laughs> eggs just be like food? Uh, okay. Maybe. Okay. Sh show sh what are you trying to show us. Oh, okay. So I put an example of pinball uh, back glass art in the upper left. Oh, okay. Left. Right. Is that you see that? I see that. So, what I was gonna try and figure out was like set myself a timer and mm -hmm. see how much. Um, detail i could rough in in like 15 minutes or something because so okay. far in the last half hour i have drawn three rectangles one of these <gasps> is already here so i'm averaging <laughs> one rectangle every 10 minutes right now and that's tool assisted speed run because i'm using a ruler okay yeah yeah no that's that's yeah so as an exercise i was going to try to work on things more quickly for a bit and see how that goes. Uh, that was that's my plan there. That's your plan. That's your plan. That's fine. You do that. You do that plan. Seems like a good idea. I'm trying to figure out which thing tape I want running across the top and the bottom here. Uh, 
Okay, let me let me add some cropping on the sides of this though, because uh, it's so annoying me that there's the bars. What do you think, chat? One, two, three, or four? Actually, make it take that one out. It's one of these three. This one is navigation and plants and writing. This one is butterflies and writing and stamps. And this one is naturey. One, two, or three. Two, two. Two? Two. Two. Two seems to be the, the general consensus. Okay. <laughs> Dang it, I did the rectangles wrong. What, wait, hold on. How did that happen? Navigation fits there with how I... you are old. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Okay. Mm. Do you oh, have butterflies? Is. To be fair, most of them have butterflies. Okay. So. I, I will be honest. I do like butterflies quite a lot. But I am also afraid of butterflies when they come near me. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. They're starting to feel cooled out. Well, considering I'm going to be 42 next month. This month. Monday. God. That's come around a bit, suddenly. Uh-oh. Oh, oh I mean, happy birthday. Yeah, I'm not going to be here on on HHH, just so you know, on Monday. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask about that. Um, should I... If you're doing a birthday stream, are you having... I'm not guests? doing a birthday stream. I am... Okay. I'm doing a birthday stream on Saturday. Okay. No, Sunday. Sunday. So the day Sunday, before. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Okay. Okay. So what was your question? Oh, I was going to ask if you needed guests on your birthday stream, but... I mean... I don't know what we'd play, but you're welcome. Okay. Well, I also don't know what time I'm going to be available on Sunday. So I was going to wait to see to what time your stream was at. Oh, my stream is probably going to be. Hmm. Um, I've got my server. Uh, tour. Um, they've got they're doing celebrations because it was my birthday month as their build mm -hmm. contest theme. Gotcha. Um, and that's at seven. So I'm going to do that. Um, but I'm pretty much going to be going from I'm going to do quite a long one, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. OK, well, so, if I'm home in time, I will try to because I, I was going to try and do that uh coffee shop meetup thing i'm still mm -hmm. waiting to hear back um i reached out to the guy who runs one of the coffee shops that i wanted to do this at like my mm -hmm. first choice and he's just like i don't know if we have good enough internet for a minecraft meetup i'm like no, no no we don't need the internet is it still cool and i'm waiting for him to get back to me and say yes it's still cool because i think that's his only concern yeah but i don't want to announce it and have him go actually we have we're booked for a corporate party or something which yeah. sunday afternoon is unlikely but like you know you could come back and be like oh actually we're doing something off site that day that that area, that building's mm -hmm. closed or something i don't know okay so thank, these actually thank oh, you miss canuck for the bits thank you imaginary karai for the four month resub thank you uh, freaky girl for the biddies it's very much appreciated so um, what I was planning to do when I, I, I was planning to do some um, Jackbox games, if you wanted to join mm -hmm. in for that bit. And Ooh. so that I could fit that around you, which means, you know, playing stupid games, which definitely mm. seems to be. I do like stupid games. You do like stupid games. I think I need to get an eraser, but the eraser, I think, is just far enough away that my headphones won't reach. Uh, grumble, grumble. You don't not need not to worry about making me feel old because because of because uh, I don't. It doesn't really bother me. It doesn't really bother me. I'm, you know, I make jokes about it, but if I didn't, mm -hmm. if I if I was particularly bothered, I probably wouldn't be making jokes about it. It's just how that sort of goes, really. 
No, that's true. I mean, I make jokes about things whether they bother me or not, because I'm pathologically incapable of not doing that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to mute real quick and try and go get an eraser without knocking okay, over Okay, Joe. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, I, I like, like I say, I'm, I'm not bothered about my birthday. I'm not bothered about being old. Um, the only thing that bothers me about being old is people that think it matters and it's just sort of like well that says more about you than it does about me so yeah i don't care it's fine okay so what i was thinking of this one is i was thinking of having like a sticker in the middle and then having well, it'll be june won't it um <clears throat> yeah we've got to be careful about ages so i mean there's there's this one i could write over it the problem is these are shiny so this one i don't particularly care that much about where's my bronze will this write on it it will it will as you age the less it matters yeah ultimately so i've got that map which i'm not particularly fond of um i like the idea of a map on it um i've got that one which i've already started tearing a bit just to see if it would if you act old you'll feel well like i say it's not about how old you are it's about how you are old so i agree with that i agree with that um, okay i'm back and i can't find the thing but you know it's fine this is not a high priority i can not a high priority right so i've got no. these four i've got these five stickers i've got that globe that globe I've got a newspaper. I've got these two things, which are the same print, but one's got aging around it. So I'm not sure which one to do. Chat, what do you think? The trick is to cram all the trauma into a pretty box and label it jokes. <laughs> you mean that's not what people do? Hmm. Newspaper. Okay, so newspaper and dark map. The double globe, detailed map, and the newspaper. Okay, so that seems to be... Those two seem to be um, the darker map or the darker letter. I think, I think it's between these two. Let's have a look. I mean, because I'd be writing June across it. Hmm. What do you think, Joe? Um, I mean, you could really go all Waterworld on this and flip the map of the Earth over. Like, have it upside down because of a polar reverse or something. <laughs> but that's why people don't ask my opinion about things. Like, it's not... This is true. Things. This is why I don't ask you about things. Particularly yeah. when you like this. Okay, I think what I'm going to... Oh, oh Joe. Out of the two of those, the new... I think the newspaper probably works for me, but a bit better. And I'm going to tear it down the edges to make it look old, because that's how things look old. Oh, the evening star. That reminds me. Uh, a friend of mine sent me, apparently, Peter Pan... What well, It's not called Peter Pan Done Poorly. It's called what, Peter Pan Gone Wrong or something is on YouTube now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know the I've Gone Wrong plays. Recommended that... Repeatedly, I need to go check that out. So, okay. So I'm going to actually start a timer. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to see how much I can do in 15 minutes here. But mm -hmm. I need to pick a sound for the timer that's not going to be... Obnoxious? Completely obnoxious. So, how would we see. know it's your timer then, Joe? I don't know. Oh, hey, that's fun. That okay, is a funky keep... beat. I'm not sure it doesn't class classify as obnoxious. I'm not going to brush ink on it. I'm going to use my bronze Sharpie. Okay. So 15 minutes on the clock. I'm going to see. I'm, my goal here is just to kind of thumbnail out Chocolate. other people's uh, back glass art mm -hmm. to figure out how to do it. Like, whoops. Oh, my gosh. Doing this without an eraser which I couldn't find. I'm already regretting. <laughs> uh, that's going poorly. 
Of course it's your text notification sound skulls. Why wouldn't it be? Okay. Let's see how this goes for this. Oh, actually, that works pretty well. That works pretty well. Nice. Stickers. I like stickers. Yeah, oh, stickers. I should have. I should have put. Can I peel that up? Can I peel that up? If you believe in yourself, you can do. Anything. I can. What I want to do is I want to put little pieces of like the special paper around around it underneath it. Mm -hmm. So so it's kind of it's kind of got layered effect going on, which is cool. So let's get some like vintage papers stuck underneath it. If I had thought of this in advance, I would have gotten way more pinks and purples because this thing is like almost all pinks and purples there's some light blues and some dark blues but like uh, uh light blue. oh good and i'm completely out of frame yay yeah okay happy little accidents yes that's that's what we're after here of course it is. So I've got to glue this. I am so glad that I've got like I forgot like when I when I was I had a moment when I was but I said I'm gonna need some glue. Mm -hmm. And um just memories about like trying to get glue at school provided and it was just sort of like, could you just give us some glue? It's 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 not that hard. Please just give us the glue and it's like gold dust. It's like gold okay. dust. Yeah, so. we've got a thing here in Nashville. Um, because in America, we just solve these things by doing an end run around the government with mm -hmm. charity. Uh, oh. Well, I, I, I know that that is very unpopular with the English. Uh, but yeah, no, 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 no. The government should pro should educate your children. Sorry. No, no, no. no I was going to say, uh, no, in terms of the school supply problem, we literally in Nashville have like a special teacher store mm -hmm. where um, you can come in with your teaching ID and this. Uh, it, well, it's, I say it's a store. It's set up like a shop. Mm -hmm. but each teacher has like depending on how much money people donated each right. teacher in the school system uh, has allocated like 50 or 60 dollars worth of supplies and you just go in and you load up a cart with about 50 dollars worth of stuff and then you know they check it against your id and then wow you leave. <laughs> and it's yeah it it's not uh yeah it's not necessarily the best solution, but it's better than forcing teachers to buy everything out of pocket. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I bought like a few things out of pocket and I was really annoyed by it. Well, the so, way everything happens in America with that normally would be out of pocket. So. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that is bad and wrong. Do not like, do not approve. Hey, Fry Kai girl tips, uh, 99 Philippine pesos, which comes out to two U.S. abacus beads here. So we'll go ahead and rotate the camera another two degrees. Thank you very much. Fry guy girl. Assuming I can find which one's my camera. I've got so many cameras on right now. There we go. Rotating to seven degrees total. Mm -hmm. I have left this one too long. Oh. Uh. Vaughn for math says teachers also send home lists to parents to ask for donations. That's also true. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> do you get them? Yeah. I mean, the teacher's like, hey, if everybody could bring in one ream of copy paper and uh, two rolls of paper towels, that would be appreciated. But, like, it's not required because not everybody can afford that, you know, that sort of thing. <sighs> Tax credit. Tax credit. God. I'm, I'm sorry, Cleo. This is deeply upsetting to you. It is because you know you shouldn't have teachers paying to educate someone else's children. Well, 
But that's why I'm describing the ways we route around that here in Nashville, which is one of the slightly more organized scenes. Yeah, no, no, I agree with you. Like, like if you're going to have to have it anyway, that's the right way to do it. Yeah. But it, it, it offends me on a, on a, on a level because teachers... Teachers already do a hard, thankless, underpaid job. You know? Yes. And I the... concur. <laughs> that's that's why I was saying, like, this is this is this is the better version. A lot of places in the States it's just out completely out of pocket. Yeah. yeah. It makes it makes me getting only six clues when I ask for ten seem like nothing. Mm-hmm. Well, and that's why I mentioned it, Cleo. I wanted to make you feel bad about wanting I to do. Work. I feel terrible. You can tell. I was successful. Yay. You were successful in uh, bullying me. I appreciate that. Teachers don't get much airtime. I mean... Teachers never very get very much airtime because people have a very poor, in general, a, a poor opinion mm. of teachers uh, because, you know, they expect to be treated decently and uh, yeah. are vocal about it. Well, and, un unlike you know some uh, you know parts of the government, teachers don't just get to go on you know news night or question time or anything. No, or defend themselves. Yeah, that's true. Okay. U US, the land of highly concerning public policies. You're not wrong. Yeah. I like yeah. that when I'm working on a project, my, my palette for which pencils I'm using just end up in my offhand. Like just, design, just pulling things out from the uh, from the trays here. What I should do is make one of these trays the power. But... I mean, that could work, yes. Boom. Next problem. Because I want to maintain some consistency with like, okay, I've got a few blues. Which one was I using for the, which part? Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. Yeah. Make sure make sure you know what you're actually working on whilst you're working. It yeah. helps. I mean, yeah, you'd be surprised at how little I know about what I'm working on at any given time. Oh, no, oh, same. Gosh. Same. Oh, Cub fan asked me, like, a question about my upcoming uh, mega base build. Um, like, uh -huh. so, Joe, have you done the math on, you know, uh, how many resources you're going to need for this? I was like, no. Why would I torture myself like that, Cub? I, Why? I won't like the answer, and I it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very upsetting. And it's, I'm not ready. Um, no, it's like, I'll figure it out as I go. That's part of the exercise. It is. Yeah. Okay. Pencil did nothing. Oh no, it did an indent. I've got the light shining on it. Yeah. Teachers aren't babysitters, but you'd be surprised at how many people seem to think that we are. Uh-huh. I say we in solidarity because we all know that I don't do that anymore. Yes. Because I got free. Teachers, you have nothing to yeah. lose but your chains. Zombie free, yo. I quite like that. It's a nice little. Yeah, that sounds starter. like a cold zombie, though. Huh? Freer. 
Yeah, Sounds frio is Spanish for cold. Oh, okay. It's like the opposite of caliente. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you can see that chat. It just, it's shiny. Hang on, you probably can. Shiny, shiny. Okay. I'm quite enjoying this just like sticking things together. <laughs> it's fun. I desperately long to leave my teaching job. It's destroying my life and health. Get out, get out. Uh, there are, you can do far easier jobs that pay far more money. Um, just seriously, just go to the private sector, just do something else. Okay, what am I doing? It's Habit Tracker next, isn't it? Habit Tracker. Habit Tracker. Habit Tracker. Habit tracker. All the habits you can track. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it with... Hmm. Most of this is white tape, so it's not going to do that well doing what I want so maybe I get one of the stickers and cut out habit from that that could work let's have a look at my other things see if there's anything else that could take its place not really okay that's fine i think i will use not the creepy children the creepy children are creepy oh no i know i like that sticker that sticker stays out Random clock will work. Hmm. I think I'll go for this one. COVID woke up a lot of teachers. Yeah. I mean, it's... <laughs> If it wasn't obvious, you needed to get out now. Hey, we just got a tip rolling in for 15 from Amy. Thank you very much, Amy, who says, your streams are a really nice part of my work from home routine. Also, I love your tipping incentives. They make me laugh. Thanks. Well, get ready to laugh because we're about to rotate me another 15 degrees to 22 angular. I feel like I'm pumping gas here. I'm like scrolling the wheel. 20... 21, 22. Yay. So thank you very much, Amy, for that. Yay. Thank you, Amy. Mlo says, Joe, do you plan on doing pixel art on the back screen of your pinball machine with blocks and game? Uh, I don't think it'll be pixel art at that scale. I think it'll just be art. Because that's, um, I mean, it's like 100, it's like 200 pixels tall and uh, okay actually wait i could work out the work out the math on this it's okay what's 60 it's 200 pixels wide and so it would be about 110 pixels tall no yeah it, it's it's enough that like pixel art is is for like eight by eight or 20 by 20. But once you start getting into the hundreds of pixels at the scale we're going to be at, it's just art. <laughs> at that so, point, but, just start, just start. Yeah. But that actually is, uh oh, there goes the bongos. There's the timer. Um, so yeah, my goal is to thumbnail a bunch of ba real back glass art. So I've got one thumbnail that I timed out after 20 minutes or 15 minutes here. Uh, Miss Canuck just tipped another seven. Thank you, Miss Canuck. Boom. Who says, Joe, you have such chill streams. So glad the algorithm sent you my way. 
Well, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and rotate that. Oops, an extra seven is actually over there. Let's go ahead and rotate the camera up to 29 degrees angular then. Appreciate you. And then uh, tips are welcome via paypal.me slash Joe Hills and YouTube Super Chat. <laughs> Thank you for the okay. people who are using Streamlutes. Uh, there's going to be another weekend of uh, Git codes for those coming up. So um, feel free to save your money for those. <laughs> trying to think. <laughs> what? Sorry, they're doing reactions on my stream that make me giggle. Oh. One of them is this, this tiny little round thing that just claps, which just makes me laugh. Aviva Kitty says that's still pixel art. Any art in Minecraft is either pixel or voxel art. Well, arguably, any art in Photoshop is pixel art, too. <laughs> like, when it's designed to be viewed at a specific resolution, like, that's what... So I'm not designing, I wouldn't be drawing this <laughs> or designing this to be good pixel art. I would be designing this to be art that works at a low resolution. So like pixel art is when you try and do stuff that's pixel perfect, but this might have some blending and stuff in it. So for example, um, vintage beef's giant items could be described as pixel art, but the uh, white on cream kind of... Uh, like explosion effect is not pixel art that's just a shape right mm -hmm. thank you mcleslie for the biddies it's very much appreciated uh quirk has says raster art yeah aviva says no that's not how that works joe let me get some i literally just gave an example like it's you can have low resolution art that's not pixel art like that uh that uh when beef made the b-dubs that b-dubs is not pixel art it's just art that works at low resolution. Or like when he did the Mumbo uh, last or two seasons, three seasons. I don't know. However many seasons ago, that wasn't pixel art at that point. He was rasterizing a photograph, but it's not pixel art. Thank you, Kenna Russia, for buying the cards. It's appreciated. Um... Aviva says those are also pixel art because of the medium. Maybe this is one of those generation gap things, but pixel art and raster art have a lot of overlap in my experience, but are not the same or identical definitions. Whereas it seems like you're arguing that all raster art is pixel art. And I don't think that's the case. Um, so, yeah, I was planning to design a, an illustration that would work well at low resolution, which is one of the reasons I'm thumbnailing these also, so I can kind of get the idea of like the rough shapes and compositions of pinball back glasses. Okay. I don't have a a, a, a a fight. I don't have a horse in this fight. I don't. I'm not. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> ah, dear. Luke Chris Walker says, uh, "I feel like pixel art is designed to use pixels in a visible form, whereas raster art isn't using it as a style concept." Exactly. I'm not trying to do it in a pixel art style. Um, and then 12.3Mouth uh, says, Pixel art embraces the constraints of the pixel as the main component. They become the prominent p part of the art piece, whereas raster art hides the pixels in a sense. Uh, Aviva says, I'm not awake enough to explain this. If it makes you feel better, Aviva, I had three and a half hours of sleep, so even if you explained it perfectly, I'm probably too tired to comprehend it. Which is why I'm not pitching Scar on this Amontillado thing right now. Because <laughs> I would screw it up. That's okay, Joe. We wouldn't notice. 
I'm not sure if that's as reassuring as I meant it to be. I forgot to do my planner. Okay, I'll do it on the next page. That's fine. Okay, so... Let's see. Okay. Ooh, Medieval Madness is a good one. See if we can find... I forgot to do the planner. Such poor planner. Shut up, JT. <laughs> Don't come for me. Where? Ah. Oh. Okay. Like this is not a conversation I expected to be having, but okay, it's fine. You guys do your thing. What are they okay. arguing about? Uh, they're, they're not arguing, they're just discussing pixel limitations. It's fine. Okay. Sorry, Cleo. Didn't it's mean okay. to turn this into a it's highly okay, technical Joe. stream. Okay. So, okay. let's see. This image is 1024 by 757. Okay, I'm realizing different machines are going to have different back glass proportions, and so these boxes... I shouldn't have drawn these rectangles yet, is what I'm realizing. I drew the rectangles first um, mm -hmm. and i'm immediately regretting it so this is a 1.3 so that times e is 10.6 centimeters so this next one actually needs to be uh the theme for my bullet journal at the moment is vintage um like not actual vintage but kind of like you know thematically vintage because i'm aware that this is not what vintage stuff looks like i'm aware it's just a case of i just i just felt like it i just felt like it <laughs> Yay. oh gosh okay Don't forget to put you zombie craft meeting on the calendar 5.6 so we mark that here you make it sound yeah. like pushed isn't the one that reminds me every week guys Romanticized vintage, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, what, what would we call that? Like, we'd call that, like, old Sears catalog kind of vibe. Maybe. Maybe. So, how many of these I need? I need six. One, two, three, four. I put it four in. Ugh. Uh, Green George Gub says there's a cask of Amontillado. Oh, well... Cleo and I were talking about, um, I, I pitched Cleo the idea that we record a audiobook version of the Cask of Amontillado, but with the OO voices, and, but we have somebody else reading the narration completely straight. Uh, first choice for that would be Scar. And so, probably shouldn't say who my first choice for things is on like this when when we because then no. if we end up going with vintage beef everybody be like oh well vintage beef wasn't the first choice it's like i'm sorry beef i mean there are a lot of people that would not want to do this so <laughs> this is a terrible idea it is a it is, i'm not saying it's a great idea joe no. i'm not saying it's terrible but it isn't great but i'm in okay. So that counts. Yay. Okay, so from we'll just call this madness. brown to next gen filter. <laughs> boomer nostalgia. There we go. This is okay. this is what all the all the boomers when they do scrapbooking, I want to say it's called. Uh -huh. That's what they this is this is what they would cl classify as vintage. Gotcha. Uh, okay, let's just so classify this as Cleo got a whole bunch of stuff that was labeled vintage and just felt like doing it so fair enough <laughs> okay i'm about to put 15 minutes on the clock here and then medieval madness oh i didn't put the image up oh. i'm so good at obs you're good oh, at stuff Joe. okay I'm, I'm restarting the timer because i i have to recrop this and now i'm <laughs> immediately annoyed <laughs> crop pad You think it's a funny idea you're with Joe? Uh.
See, my first choice would be would be beat ups, <laughs> just for the extra ridiculous. I think B dubs would be very hard to get for he's already like really Oh heavy. I know. That's why I said he would be my first choice. It would be impossible for to get B dubs. Yeah. But I'm just thinking that that <laughs> Oh oh have we actually pitched somebody says Rothgar says that now would be a good time to pitch Shakespeare. Um have I pitched you on this um, this us doing a Shakespeare thing? Because uh, a bunch of people in my Twitch chat at one point mm -hmm. uh, during a normal stream, we started talking about like funny castings for Shakespeare stuff. Oh dear! And um, the idea of doing Macbeth or scenes from Macbeth, mm -hmm. where I'm Lady M and you're Macbeth inverts a lot of audience expectations because normally you're the one that uses murder as a solution to everything. <laughs> and so it's funny, the idea that I'm the one talking you into murdering uh, Duncan and all that. Yeah, no, I can see that. That could be fun. Um, okay. So at this point now, I've got that set up there. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. Red, that was not funny. Cool. I approve, but it wasn't funny. Yeah. Talus has resubscribed for 11 months. Thank you very much indeed. Oh. Da -da. Okay. So for this one, it seems like the letters are like the top. Six. And there you go. Yeah. So. I muck that one up. Why? This is what I get for not putting things down with a pencil first. I mess yeah, things I'm up. Yeah, I'm having a lot of regrets about similar things. <laughs> <laughs> If you're asking someone to join you to do something with the Casa Montiardo, they should be they should be very suspicious of your motives. Yeah. Eh? Yes. <laughs> but also Yes. Also, it's just yes. No, they're right. They should be. Yeah. Let's see, we've got dragon shooting fire over the S here. From there, we've got this, like, is that a wizard? Oh, no, that's a, somebody riding a flying cow, I think. Oh, there is a wizard, but it's near somebody riding a flying cow. I have that's questions, but not enough that I want the answers. You know, I, there's so much detail to this art that I never noticed. Like, one of the goblins is wearing red converse. Hmm. I see. Yeah. The thing, you know, when I was, I, I just made this mistake. I was going to get Tipex today, just in case I made a mistake. And then I thought, nah, it's fine. It was not, I in don't fact, know what fine. That is. Uh, white out, I suppose you would call oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's what we would. Oh, call. I could use these. In... Oh, hang on, I've changed my mind entirely. Uh oh. <laughs> Is that good or bad? I think it's good, but I've got these little sh these little sheets of like paper with things that I could put these things on instead. Mm -hmm. Like. Like this stuff. <laughs> and then just like have one in the middle like like that and just have them there. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Oh, that's Ooh, interesting. I've got this stuff Teeny instead. Teeny tiny sheets of paper. Teeny tiny sheets of paper. 
Saucefire says it's in case the goblin ever needs to make a con save. I mean, considering he's getting hit by a steel ball 95 miles an hour all the time. Yeah, that, that tracks. Mm. I don't have any more of the teeny tiny ones, I don't think. Hmm. There's a lot of three dimensionality. Like these illustrations, because I, the idea is, I you know, um, you want to have a, a lot of detail on these because while people are waiting to play, yeah, for their turn, you want to have something to kind of maintain their interest, right? So like, there's just a lot of depth to the drawings. Especially on the funnier pinball machines. There's mm -hmm. like a lot of little hidden jokes and stuff. But like with Total Nuclear Annihilation, like I've had this thing outside my kitchen for like <laughs> two months now. And there was stuff on there that I'm like, oh, wait, there's a tank there. Or, oh, huh, that's a hallway. Like until you really try to copy something or make a model of it, you, you just yeah. don't necessarily appreciate the level of detail that went into the original. That seems fair. Uh, I'm YV says, Joe, I watched Severance at your recommendation and I thought it was incredible. Both me and my mother are hooked and can't wait for the next season. Awesome. <laughs> Feel somewhat pointed. <laughs> what? You recommended it to me. <laughs> yeah, but that's why people who watch the stream at this time come back. Um, oh, no, I, I'm saying it just felt that comment just felt a little bit pointed as, as, as in you should watch this clear. I told you to watch it. You haven't watched it yet. Oh, I actually didn't. I, I think I was tired when I recommended that to you because I didn't remember that. Uh, so I wasn't trying to make a point. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, no, it's fine. I was. I, I just think you're meaner than you actually are, Joe, sometimes. So. It's fine. Uh, it, it's good. I need to have some level of uh, intimidation, I guess. I'm, I don't know. I don't know, Joe. You don't. You're not very attempted. You just I think not, you recommend it to everyone every stream. I mean, that's I also possible. Yeah, I recommend a lot of things. You really do. Um. <sighs> you doing all right, Joe? Yeah, no, I'm just... Uh, just exhausted is what you are. Uh, I mean, yeah, like I said, three and a half hours of sleep, but I am really happy with how the new video came out. Uh, it's called Let's Pal Around. Oh, I? Well, who are you palling around with? Well, for one, you, and uh, Doc, and False, and Impulse, and Hypno, and Cub, and Scar, and Jim. Aw, that's nice. Uh, yeah, and it's it's one of those weird videos where it's like, I've probably got, like, the actual time I spent on it included probably 12 to 15, maybe 20 hours of resource grinding and mm -hmm. putting, like, uh, mining obsidian in the world eater and using sand and sponges to create the outline. Maybe 24 hours. Of, Jesus. like, solo work. But the actual video, the, like, the actual usable footage is just yeah. me hanging out with people between that. And <laughs> it's a lot of so, it that sort of ends up that way, isn't it? This this yeah. this, this coming project is going to be massive. Yeah. So. I, I'd much rather a living rested Joe Hills than on the edge burned out Joe Hills. Please get some rest. Well. I, he will eventually. I, you know what I can. The, the problem is, like, I have some family stuff scheduled for this weekend that is supposed to be restful, uh, but I won't be able to enjoy it if I don't get my work done before then. So it's kind mm -hmm. of a balancing thing of, like, if I took today or last night off, then I wouldn't have be able to get everything I need to do done before I hang out with my family, and then I would 
either have to cancel or be stressed out all the time during the hangout. And then that's bad. I'm pleased that you managed to get your stuff together and get it done. Yeah. Without uh, having much issue. You know. Thank you. Because I think you did well. I think mm. you did well, Joe. Thank you, Cleo. You're welcome. I need my actual ruler for this bit. I don't have my actual ruler. I need something flat. Box. Uh, I don't know how to do this. Come on. That's not straight. That's not straight. That's better. No! I'm best off doing it with my fingers. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It looks more rustic that way. Joe's video was a lot of fun. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. People like your video, Joe. I'm glad. So am I. It beats people not liking your video. I mean, honestly, at the like everybody's got a right to their own opinion. Yeah. But I still have to get my work done. So here, here's the thing: is if I put out this video on like quote unquote on time, I'm actually because my I did two videos like back to back mm -hmm. ten days ago. It kind of threw off my production schedule for this one. Yeah. Um, like so stuff that would have been in episode 12 got pushed to episode 13 and then episode 13 got took longer to make if that makes yeah. any sense um, makes sense to me <laughs> but you know if i get this video done before i go hang out with my family mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if everyone hates it or not to me that won't stress me out it matters that i can't have it says hands up plead it still mm -hmm. right that makes sense so i'm glad that everyone likes it because i do genuinely want to make good things but now that i've got that taken care of i've got a few more things i got to do before the weekend but like that was the one that was really i was like uh should i should i try and make more progress on some of these things to show more progress in the video but like no i cut off like at this point it's the footage that i've got is going in and i'm gonna get it edited and i got it edited and out the door so yeah you got it. It got it. So it worked. That's all that matters. Exactly. Progress is overrated. What was that gesture? Nothing. Thank you, Saucefire. Saucefire writes, you did it, Joe. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Yay. Being mean to me again, Joe. They're being mean to me. How am I being mean to you? No, not you, them. Okay, stop being mean to Cleo. Yeah, guys. Okay, I've got three minutes left on this. I haven't even gotten the primary figure in. Oh, no. So much detail on this. Happy there was not a knife in Cleo's hands. I've, I, I'm, I'm fine with knives usually. I probably, I pretty much do okay. Just, I was just stretching. <laughs> oh dear. Might have to call in HHH 
at some point with what? my new base to collect materials. So the weird thing is, is I feel I feel really weird about you know asking for help, <laughs> even what though. Kind of stuff do you need? I haven't decided so yet. I with. haven't decided yet. I'm just it's just a case of it might be need to go hunt in the nether for ages for quartz and stuff like that. So Oh, I actually am about to do a quartz hunt because I need uh to be able to make observers. Those are pretty heavily mm. quartz uh I mean backed. it's a case of I might actually have to make like a farm of some description for maybe like villagers. Which I don't really oh, want can you to trade do. them for quartz. I think I think you can get quartz from villagers, isn't it? Oh, interesting. Is that a piglin barter too? Maybe. Maybe. Um, quartz is villager. I'm just. I'm trying to get a lot of the problem with white colors is that you've got snow, which is easy. You've got quartz, which is hard, and then you've got concrete, which is in between. And I'm going to need all of and wool, which is in between as well. And it's like. Mm -hmm. They're all kind of like awkward to get. So Whoa, you have you've to got the farm from uh, the, the the beef guy. At least. I mean, yes, but that would require uh, diamond mining. So quartz blocks well, from villages. But you might be able to piglins. barter with them. Uh, okay, I might be able to. Yeah, that's true. Like a deal. Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait! No, no, no. Coralis's spider farm is free to use, and there's like a ludicrous amount of uh, silk. Uh, oh, spider silk. thank you, can, you. That's how I've been getting my wool. I just it took me a minute to remember that. So okay. How am I getting my wool? That's it. Okay. So that could work if it's white. I haven't just really decided the base color. Really, I think it's going to end up being like white. Mm -hmm. But um. Yeah. Scar Green and Tanko have a massive mason hall and have stacks on stacks on quartz blocks. Okay, so you might be able to barter with them too for either access to the hall or um, quartz itself. I mean, I think they'd probably prefer that. To me, going and making another massive raid farm, a massive farm. Yeah, I, yeah, I think that you're right. Um, hmm. hmm. Snow is easy. Quartz. Needs a bunch of masons and infinity emeralds. Infinity emeralds is the problem there. I don't. I wouldn't know how to get. Snow is the worst white block as it's blue. It's not blue. Mm -hmm. You might think it's blue. It's not. Yeah. So clear. I was gonna say. Do you mind if I go refill my go drink? My coffee is empty. Okay. Go go. I will be right back. Cleo, you can talk to everybody. Hey, hi everybody. Deet XXXX has resubscribed for two months. Hello. How are you guys? Is everyone good? I'm good. I mean, relatively speaking. I am looking forward to my birthday. Everybody, come on the Sunday and we'll be celebrating my birthday. It's going to be a really long stream. I'm going to have my other half on there. I don't know if they realise that or not. I think I think we agreed to that. Uh, I'm going to have... Joe said he's willing to come and do games and stuff. Um, I'm going to be on my patron server uh, judging the bill contest. I am going to... I don't know, just a lot of little things that I really want to want to do. So I'm going to do them. Do, do your best to arrive in time. It's going to go on for like several hours. So regardless, you'll, 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 you'll hit it. It's fine. Um, so it's not my birthday yet. It will be. You had no idea, but I, I'm pretty sure we discussed this cam. So um, I think we agreed to do some power washing together. We might have been discussing doing power wash together, but uh, yeah. We did not. 
Mm. What time are you starting on Sunday? I haven't decided, but it'll probably be about 2 p.m. Because I want to make sure I've gone for a walk. I want to make sure I've eaten something. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a thing. It's a thing. So yeah, it's it's gonna be fun. I'll I'll do some community games with Joe. Okay, Cam, that's fine. We'll do it on Sunday. <laughs> GMT, yes, because no BST, British summertime. BST is different. We're on BST currently. How long have you lose, used bullet journals for? <clears throat> I used them last year. So I had them last year, but they weren't as detailed as this or as involved because, you know, you, um, I don't know how to put it. You, you, you get more extra and plus this is now my job to do. So yeah. <laughs> yes, Firehawk, exactly. So yeah, I, I'll be going live from two and I'll probably go... I might go to midnight. It really depends on how I'm feeling. It might go to midnight. Um, and then I'll go straight to bed. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just how it goes sometimes. But, like, I've got, like, the Stanley Parable, the new one, to play. I've got loads of Jackbox games to play with people. I've got Bioshock 2 that I wanted to start, so I think I'm going to start on that. So, talk about Minecraft. <laughs> Squiggles! <laughs> I like Squiggles. Um, how much have you invested into the journal specifically, like washi tapes and stickers and stuff? Um, see, when I buy washi tape, I don't think of it as investing into the journal. I think of it as investing into the stream. See, that's the difference. But I think I've spent like 50 quid, maybe, maybe a bit more. What's the time differential between me and Joe? I don't know. Uh, Joe knows. Joe, Joe, Joe runs all... Joe, <laughs> Joe says, we're going to do it at 2.30 your time. And I'm like, right, we're going to do it at 2.30 my time. And Joe does all the time conversions because... I mean, I'll be honest, the Hermitcraft server runs in, runs in um, whatever the Brits are on. So everything's at eight o'clock server time. Everything runs relative to server time. So it's six hours. Six hours, there you go. Um, so yeah, there we go. There's my habit tracker. If you want to know what I'm doing with my habit tracker, this is how I use it in, in May. You just put a little circle whenever you do a thing. I would like to do it. I would like to keep my Sharpie with me and do it in like the the... The, the bronze so yeah it's it's gonna be pretty it's 10 a.m joe's time right now yeah yeah i mean i'll be honest i didn't set the timings for this joe set the timings for this and that's fine but it's joe's fault because this is when joe had time to do it <laughs> what current time is it currently cleo time it's three minutes to four Six hours, five. Oh, of course, Badger would know. <laughs> Let's ask Badger. <laughs> Six hours, five for about four weeks a year when the summer and winter time goes a bit wonky. <laughs> of course, Badger would be the one checking up on the time zone difference. Yeah, the time zone difference is always fun. <laughs> it's always fun. Well, you're the one that does all the time zone difference between stuff between us. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, well, I just don't. Because I spend... I, I, Spend a lot of time thinking in British time anyway, so why not? You do, you do. Um, my other half does as well, so I understand it. Because mm -hmm. they're always telling me, you need to go to bed now. I'm like, yeah. And then they can't talk to me for another hour. Uh, <laughs> it's just how it goes sometimes. Mm -hmm. For my white block question, what about using bone blocks? Only three bones per few... <sighs> The thing about bone blocks is they have texture, different textured sides. So, 
I don't know. I haven't decided if I want it white or not. I think I do. But I think it might go white to grey. Like a subtle, like a low quality, not low quality, just like a a, 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 a very light grey. I haven't decided. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. How are you doing, Joe? Do you have time to talk to people? Because, you know, I told you that I would need to go. Yeah, Every so yeah, often. I can, I can cover for you. I've got your chat open. Fabulous. Uh, I will see yeah. you later. <laughs> All right. Talk to you in a minute, Cleo. So if Cleo's chat has any questions that I can helpfully answer, uh, now is a great time to ask them. Let's go in here. Filters. We're going to add a crop here. I think we were a whoops, crop. Let's see what Cleo's people are saying. Any more shulker babies yet? Not yet. What's the weather today? Uh, I don't know. Let me look at my watch. It's clear. <laughs> um, Alrighty. Enjoy Hermitcraft, Okami fan. Do I know the game Root? No. Are there any headers for the Habit Tracker? I mean, it says Habit Tracker at the top. Uh... Do American servers run on local time or GTM? That is going to be up to the server operator. Usually it's better to have everything on UTC. I think. Or Greenwich. Wait, by GTM, do you mean GMT? Um, okay, so let's get this sorted here. This is way too, way too not cropped. 400? 500. Okay, there we go. So 516 right and left, and then 225 maybe, top and bottom, 230. There we go, 230 indeed. Okay. What are the subheadings? Uh, it looks like water, planning, exercise, cleaning streaming and brooding it's my guess okay why was cleo a spider usually genetics is a major factor in determining whether or not something is or is not a spider okay oh i've got a coaster and everything wow i should Use that to remember to where to set my drink. Okay, so we're going to do the Adams Family back glass, maybe. Hi. I'm thinking about it. Hey, Cleo. Can you hear me? I can, yeah. Ugh. Sometimes BSCT is referred to as daylight savings time. I don't actually think... Is it? By us? By... <laughs> By the people that live on this side of the, the, of the world? I don't know. Uh, not to my knowledge. Not but... to my knowledge. Because hmm. uh, Cubfan gave her infinity spider heads during the head games. Are you talking about the Spider Cleo? Spider Cleo? Spider Cleo? Are you talking about Spider Cleo, which is skittery, or, 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 or Spider Cleo? Unclear. Spider Girl or Spider Cleo? There's a difference. It's a subtle difference ton of bills with white blocks and I mainly use polished diorite. Calcite? Why are you using calcite? You can only find that in a m tiny amount of places. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that seems like an unwise choice. No, that is not a choice that I would be using. That seems like... <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> nope. Hey, here's something fun. The oh, crop God. on the left and right here for this Star Trek picture is 359. Mm -hmm. Like Wolf 359, and it's got the Borg on it. So, hey, that's we did it. Yay. Or something. I don't know. Calcite <laughs> is found in large amounts in mountain peak and cliff biomes. Yeah, I can't wait to go rip up a mountain. Nobody will complain about that. <laughs> usually. I, I, I made a like... flower forest about 5,000 blocks out, so, you know, oh, yeah. there's other places to go. 
Large amounts is relative. For the hermits, it may not be that large. Yeah, Let's put it like this. Uh, we're talking about several hundred stacks. Minimum. Mm -hmm. So okay. a couple of thousand would not be out of out of line. Um, um, so Cleo, I think I need to set another timer here. You you feel good for another half hour at least, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So with setting the fifteen minute timers, I feel like I got a good idea of the rough detail uh, or the, mm -hmm. the rough composition of these. But both times I was like, oh, I think I need another five minutes. I'm gonna set this next timer to twenty. Go for it. And see, I'm know. good. I'm good. I'm good for a bit. So yeah. Um. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing next. I'm doing my video planner. Um, okay. Oh, <laughs> this one's about a two to one scale. Should have done my. It's fine. This is. I can use the extra five minutes toward that. That's fine. You do what you need to, Joe. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Sure is. It, it sure, sure is. is. Um. Oh, you're kidding me. This one's actually the opposite. Oh, wait, no, this one's actually exactly the proportions that I originally gridded out. So, okay. Yeah, one thing we're learning here is a lot of the back glass art has different proportions. So. <clears throat> hmm. I'm kind of thinking I might lower the uh, camera, too. Boop. I like this book because it's got a demon on it. Hang on, let's see if I can show it to you properly. Oh, other way. Proper demon. Demon. Proper demons. So I'm going to use this book for reasons that are demons. Okay. So let me adjust the focus on that camera now that I've just uh, dropped it several inches. <laughs> Because that's the thing about turning off autofocus is that then you got then you're responsible for the focus. No, the month calendar, yeah, the month calendar needs to be over. Like, if I show you my 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 main one, um, then the month calendar needs to go over two pages because it's it's, it's rather large. But you know, I I now I, I still need to put my video planner in. Um, I've decided that free videos a month seem to be working out for me because it just takes so long to do stuff i'm hearing a weird noise one second that's never a good thing to hear not weird noises oh dear after this i need to go out and do a walk i was gonna do my, I, I, I got up reasonably on time today because yesterday I got up super early and I'm telling chat this not not Joe particularly because Joe's doing another thing um I was I was you know I, I, I was going to be productive and go for a walk and then it started raining and I thought no, oh, no. I'm not going to walk in the rain I am not that much of a I am not that girl I would like to be that girl I'm not that girl so oh no you know, one day, Cleo, one day, one day I will be that girl. Yeah. When you're <laughs> super old, you won't care at all. You'll just be like, I'll walk in the rain. Just watch. I, I really won't. I really won't. <laughs> I yeah, like sorry. the rain, but a lot. But if I'm walking for like two hours, I am not walking in the rain. It's just not happening. Yeah. Well, I was hearing this noise that sounded like kind of like a waterfall noise. Mm hmm. Like when you're filling the laundry machine with water yeah but the laundry isn't running and i'm like why do i hear what sounds like a waterfall that, somewhere in my apartment that's Let concerning i'm yeah. not gonna lie yeah so i've got a window open in the other room and apparently there's some sort of vehicle parked outside that's engine idle sound after the sound bounces through the apartment or whatever what's uh -huh. left sounds like rushing water but like, as soon as I like walked out of the studio and could hear it through the window more clearly, it's like, oh no, no, no that's just a vehicle. Okay, <laughs> one less thing to worry about. One less thing to worry about. One yeah. less thing to worry about. 
It's one less thing to worry about. Uh, I try and run one mile a day and it was raining, so I cut it short. I can't. I can't do it with the rain. I would really like to be the person that rains. Um, but goes out in the rain. The, the person that not. rains, like a like a queen. Like yeah, I I would like that. I would like that. You're quite surprised to get a response from Cleo at 8:30 a.m. Like it, it's not common that I'm up at 8:30 a.m. anymore. I did that my entire life. I'm you know, mm -hmm. I don't need to do it anymore. So they don't. <laughs> um, and I'm a night out anyway, but you know. Mm -hmm. So. It's only because I went to bed super early for you. I, uh, mm, it's because I was tired because I woke up super early and I haven't been sleeping properly. So I'm all right today. Yeah. Yeah. I'm up most mornings by 7.15. You see, I used to be a teacher, so... Yeah, no, that that was a that was a thing that I had to do. Get up early to be at school. Being a teacher as a night owl sucks. Mm -hmm. What I'm hearing is that Cleo is old. Yes, I'm not denying that <laughs> or caring that much. I want my Jane, I have to water my dad's plants. <laughs> I see. Eh, 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 eh. Oh. My my problem with being like teaching very small children is that I uh I have taken to Using phonics. Very using phonics. Using oh, phonics yeah. instead of spelling words properly. So it's I, not I. Oh, is that why you always make that I sound? I, I, it's look I, when I'm looking for an I in my box, but you oh, know. Oh, I thought that was just like a general like thinking noise. Uh, no, R ah is my general thinking noise. Ah. Just join. This is really neat. Well, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Uh, I am trying quite hard to make my vintage. And I, I mean, I was really proud of last, last, the, the theme last time. It was, mm -hmm. it was, it's very pretty and I do like it. It's, it's chill. That's how your niece learned it. I mean, yeah, that's, that's how most children le learn uh words these days um there's a lot of that going around the sparkly pages when you turn them are so nice i mean to be fair this this one is shiny this one has got shiny words that i can see better than you obviously <laughs> are you okay jt are you giving yourself a pep talk in my chat because that's what it looks like <laughs> It's okay. okay if you are. That's allowed. I think another JT is making Groundhog Day references. So, you know, determine your own level of alarm there. I mean... Oh, you're helping Chris with his time... <laughs> you're helping Luke Chris Walker with his time loop problem. Okay. It's JT, they are your mod. Obviously they aren't okay. Rude. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> True, but rude. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. There is a lot of straight lines going on. <laughs> Fairies don't exist. I believe in JT and support that every decision in their self pep talk. Yeah. Do I diamond paint? No. I don't like diamond painting. I don't know what that is. What it's is where that? you use like little tiny crystals to do like a paint by numbers thing usually. Uh, it's not my thing. Gotcha. Okay. I like sparkly things, but not too much, you know, and diamond painting feels like the definition of too much to me. I might try it one day. Might do it on stream mm -hmm. to see if I like it or hate it as much as I think I'm going to. Oh boy. <laughs> I did not quite have this crop properly before I started. I'm not drawing crooked lines. They're straight. What's, what, what problems are you having, Joe? Oh, I just realized that I had this cropped poorly when I started laying it out. Ah. And so then when I uncropped it, I'm like, well, now the portions are going to be kind of, well, if... these are just dumb sketches to help me learn composition better. So it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Okay. They are straight, but then the joke wouldn't work. Uh, I, I see where you're going with that, yes. That's true. Okay. Okay, I need two. So, okay, we have three little dot The pips, whatever. Dots, pips. Yeah, the uh, rank pips, the insignia. Uh, yeah. Doing Star Trek. Aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was going to do the Adams Family, but uh, what I realized is a lot of pinball machines that have, like, um, some machines have the title on the, uh, what's called a topper, which mm -hmm. goes above the top of the machine. Yeah. And since my, the the top of the back box on my machine goes to build height, the, I, I need to have the uh, name of the machine on the glass. That's so. build height? Yeah, oh. scale to go to build height. I thought build height was higher than that. Okay. 309. Okay, that changes how I'm doing things a little bit. I'm glad we had this talk before you... Uh, yeah, yeah. Did that then. Mm -hmm. Why? What did you think was build height? I thought it was much taller. It's okay. fine. It's fine. All that means is I need to uh, check myself before I wreck myself. Mm -hmm. So just plunge whatever you were doing further into the sea. That's Perfect. that's how I solved this. I figured out the proportions I wanted to work with, and then I worked down from build height with the idea <laughs> that it would just be rising up out of the sea at whatever level it came out to. Excuse me. Isn't it what? That's a scalpel. Mm -hmm. That's like a surgical scalpel. Oh, what is? The the scalpel. Oh, okay. That yeah, that, that would be a scalpel. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're it's not right. an act. Exact, we don't have exacto knives. Not like the brand. It's just a scalpel. Mm. Promise. Okay. New prediction layer is funky. Oh, you're talking... There's a prediction going? Okay. Mod's having fun. That's fine. What does it say? Pick option three to win gubbins. It's not a dangerous weapon. It's a surgical tool. Hold on. You can get it from, like... Delivery services. Hold on, it's how fine. do you simply predict a custom amount? I'm putting it all on number one. Wait. <laughs> oh, wait, that was wrong. Hold on. 
There we go. Am I a boss? Yes. Number one. Okay, I don't know what number one is, so... Uh, it's Riker from Star Trek The Next Generation, who I'm drawing oh. right now. That's why I put it all in number yeah, one. Yeah, okay, no. I get that. I get you. Flying Potato says Joe has a lot of those. Well, I've got 52 left. Why do people think knives, knives are weapons? Like, really? I mean, knives are weapons? Depending on how you use them. Knives knives can be weapons. Uh, if you want them to be like a tool or something, you're going to have to use them as a tool. I mean, most tools could also be weapons, you know? Yeah. Like an anvil is a tool, but with the proper setup, you could use it as a weapon, you know? Mm -hmm. um, like, I mean, I don't know. Would you consider a spike trap a weapon? Like, uh... or, like if you if you put a bunch of spikes in the ground, mm -hmm. or is that just a trap? That feels like a trap. Okay, but like, so if you have C, if you have like a, a claymore shaped charge pointed mm -hmm. toward the enemy lines, and somebody runs toward you, and you manually pull the claymore trigger, um, then it. I you don't know. know. I, I, that's and that not... would be a weapon, but if it's on a tripwire, it feels like a trap. That's weird. So, like, a pointed spear that I throw at somebody is a weapon, but if it's in the bottom of a pit, even if I throw them in the pit, it's not a weapon anymore? That's weird. I don't know. I mean, yes, this conversation is weird, but okay. There, there's the things that are weapons and there are things that are traps, but I don't know that there is a big enough distinction. The distinction is, am I going to prison for this? If yes, probably shouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Planning our legal defense arguments already. <laughs> yes. Uh, Bold Garlic has resubscribed for 14 months. Thank you. Because I was going to say, like, is a bucket of paint a weapon if you paint a tunnel on a canyon or on like uh, uh, the wall? of like a cliff and then somebody like a coyote runs into it is that, I that might still just be a trap i feel like that's still a trap um i'm not sure that there's there's as much nuance legally as we would hope there would be yeah i think you're right but to be fair if there is a if it's caused if, if there's an issue caused by coyote then uh I'm pretty sure it's not going to be. It's it's more animal cruelty at that point. Yeah. So. Yeah. But like, I mean, if the coyote is rabid and has been bothering livestock, or I mean, there's all sorts of valid reasons to trap a coyote, as well. Valid. Mm. It's only I a mean, weapon if you... if you then hang the paint bucket from a string and drop it from the balcony. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Does a weapon that stop counts. being a weapon if there isn't someone using it? I don't know. That one's too hard for me. That is above my pay grade. Is is a shield still a shield if no one's wielding it? Yes. Like if it But I'm thinking specifically of knives. Is a knife still a weapon if no one's wielding it as a knife? And the answer is no. I think at that point it's just a patio decoration, right? <laughs> Joe is living in Looney Tunes. I don't think living in is is accurate, but yeah, yeah. You, I feel like there's a lot of surplus words in that sentence. You could just go with Joe is Looney, and <laughs> be like, well, I wouldn't say that out loud, but. I wouldn't say that where Joe could hear me, no. But, uh, you know, there'd be a lot of hedging there. I didn't have hedges anymore. Can't do hedging. Oh, no. <laughs> Must not correct tunes to tunes. Must not. <laughs> 
Oh dear. Okay. We do it. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Now I need to do the monthly plan. Oh god, that that is that does not bend. Why not? Because the sticker is too stiff. Oh no. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, I'm I'm quite impressed of how much I'm getting through this book. Well, like I might I might be able to get through the entire year with this, which would be great. So yeah, we're halfway through. But there, I'm, I'm not looking hopeful getting through the whole year with this, just this book, to be honest. Mm. <sighs> okay. Right, I need to do planning and to do that, I need to look at the last one. So, it's five up. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Welcome to Counting with Cleo. Yay, Counting with Cleo. And it's five across. One, two, three, four. How do I see how long the prediction goes for? I need to put another 64 bits on number one. Please. You don't need to do anything, Joe. It's fine. It's because I have 64 now, and I hate having these. I don't... What, you hate having bits? Yeah, because then I feel like I should do something with them. Which is literally... Like, like it's just one more, like, resource to allocate. Like, I... Like, at a certain point, Fair. they're not helpful resources. They're distractions. Like, like they're... they're, they're uh... I forget what's the difference between flotsam and jetsam. One of the one of them is things that are intentionally thrown off ships to save uh, weight for you know to increase uh, to improve the draft of the ship. Yeah. And one of them is like stuff that's swept overboard. But like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. At a certain point, having more resources at your disposal, if those resources are a distraction from your current objectives, it's just flotsam or jetsam waiting to happen. I mean, yes, that's true, I guess. I, um, if Twitch had an option... Oh, another JT says, Jetsam comes from the word jettisoned. Aye! That's easy to remember. Whereas Flotsam being stuff that just floats off if you start going partially underwater. That makes sense. Okay. So, yeah, but that's my point. Is like, if Twitch had a way to turn off channel points, I would turn them off. And that's one of the other... Re like. I have many, many reasons for not signing Twitch's contract, but I don't want to burden my viewers with additional distractions. Like, giving them channel points is not a favor. It's... I don't know. I don't know either. I'm very tired. I, I, no, 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 no. I have not said a thing. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't get very far on this one in that 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. I think partially because I was trying to figure... Like, the, the composition on this one is, like, the cast of the show, mostly. Yeah. So, it's, it's an interesting setup, but I'm just going to do a little bit more to rough this in at this point. <laughs> but, okay, so... The actual ship is up here. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Get in the rough. And I felt like when you're trying to do something like in a certain style, it's important to do a lot of different examples of it from a lot of different artists. Mm -hmm. So you're not accident. You don't end up accidentally just copying one you know you want to get the general impressions across the board mm -hmm. and then you can extrapolate your own thing better if that makes sense i mean that seems reasonable to me that seems like a valid way of doing things
Okay, I have that oval maker and I'm not using it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this oval is too hard. And then I'm like, I literally have a thing for that. I can hold this oval maker. No, that's not the oval maker. I can hold the oval maker up to the screen here and get exactly the right proportion oval. <laughs> I mean, it'd be the wrong size, but then I could like, because it says on it, like what the ratios are for each one, I could find a smaller one with the same ratio. Yes, that's that seems reasonable. Like, so like all of the 20 degree ovals are in a line here. All the 30 degree ovals, 40, 50. Mm -hmm. So I could figure out like, oh, what degree oval is the Enterprise here? It actually looks like it's a 60 degree oval, which I don't have. But I could <laughs> still approximate it with a 50. And then, yeah. That sounds fair. That sounds reasonable. Yeah. When Cleo starts telling me I'm sounding reasonable, that, that's a bad sign. It usually means you're overtired. It, yeah, it means I'm not reasonable, but you don't want to provoke me. <laughs> I'm I'm being very uh, diplomatic with you today. You. It's I fine. It. It's fine. You are more tired than I've seen you in a long time. Thank you. So. I think. Oh, boy. It's okay, Joe. We'll get through this. Um, I'm about to ready to to wrap up soon though, so. Yeah, I am too. So that's not. All right, let me finish this line and then we can call it. Yeah. Line finished. There you go. There you go. All done. Yeah. Joe is happily delirious. I wouldn't call it happily. Uh... <laughs> merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. <laughs> Nightmare. There you go. There you go. Uh, where is my? Uh oh, there it yeah, is. I didn't leave room for Picard's head, unfortunately. That's... Have I ever mentioned that I aspire to have a friendship like Cleo and Joe's? Oh, that's a bad idea. Yeah. Unless, unless, unless you're on my side of things, then you know, it's quite good. <laughs> Sleepy time for Joe, I think. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I think actually that's the truth. I, th uh, I think that is the truth. Yeah. I think that that is the actual plan. Well, okay, I'm going to go out for my my long walk for the day. So. Oh, that's that's good. Yeah. Okay. I'll have to get one of those later. Yeah. Already. I will. Oh. I will see you later, Joe. I'm going to hang up and then I'm going to raid someone. Um, I hope good. you feel better. Bye bye. I I don't feel bad. I just feel tired. All right. Yeah. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <sighs> okay, chat. But gently, gently with Joe today. Let's see who's online. Let's let's send you to Pearl, who's playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, because this is this is her like random time, I think. All right. I will see you later. Have a good day. Bye bye.